yes, Prince Charles has also been known to tread the political tightrope, something that may make the royal courtiers flinch. But something many people may not know is that he has an unusually close relationship with Romania. Historian Dr Tessa Dunlop has been finding out more. There's one country in Europe that's devoted to our very own Prince Charles, and it's a case of mutual appreciation. Every year for over two decades, he sets off east to one of his favourite bolt holes. This is the story of Charles, Prince of Romania, or perhaps more aptly, Charles, Prince of Transylvania. His first trip was in 1998, and he now owns 10 properties in Transylvania and has established the Fundatia Prinzel de Wales, a foundation trust that helps preserve rural communities and traditional skills. Given the Prince's love of horticulture, architecture and agro-tourism, it's not surprising that Transylvania, home to Europe's last wild bears and wolves, caught his imagination. When he visits in the spring, the hay meadows are a colourful hive of activity and the landscapes dotted with peasant villages and medieval fortifications. But the connection between Britain's future king and this nation on the eastern edge of the EU runs far deeper than the restorative powers of Romania's landscape. When over there, Prince Charles regularly talks up his direct bloodline with the country's most famous anti-hero. That's right, Vlad the Impaler, renowned for the bloodthirsty treatment of his enemies and thought to be the inspiration behind Bram Stoker's Dracula, is apparently the Prince of Wales's 16 times removed grandfather. But the most spectacular of all his Romanian connections was Romania's queen, Marie, a 20th century tour de force. It's striking that she was famous for refusing to wear rubber gloves when visiting the typhus-infected soldiers, just as Princess Diana made headlines when she publicly touched AIDS victims. Over the years as our future king, Charles has had to meet some pretty unsavoury people, including Romania's former dictator Nicolae Ceausescu, when he came on a state visit to Buckingham Palace in 1978. But within 10 years of that rendezvous, Charles had turned his ire on Ceausescu, a prince known for his spidery missives. In 1989, he openly condemned the tyrant's systematic destruction of Romania's historic villages. Opposition, not without danger. Charles would write, I hope you receive this before some frightful undercover agent stabs me in the left buttock with a poisoned umbrella. The owner of several authentic Transylvanian properties in the exquisite Saxon stronghold of Viscri, Romanian tourists on the trail of Charles are now so numerous, locals have started to complain. But in general, the country loves him. In 2017, the president awarded him one of Romania's highest honours, Steua Romaniei, the star of Romania. Back in Highgrove, Charles has apparently sown a Transylvanian hay meadow. And during lockdown on video link, he addressed Britain's large Romanian diaspora who were unable to return home for their Orthodox Easter. If you visit Romania, don't be surprised if you're asked about our British Charles and his Romanian habit. <laughs>